If you're looking on how to disassemble the PS5 controller, you've come to the right place. In this video, I'm going to give a step-by-step -step teardown on how this controller goes from this to this. Some of the reasons why you would want to take apart the PS5 controller can include changing the battery, fixing the stick drift, if something would spill on it, you would want to change and clean the buttons, or adding back paddles, or simply making modifications to the controller or you just want to take it apart to see what's inside. So the tools you would be needing is a small prying tool to peel apart the controller, also a small Phillips screwdriver, and a set of tweezers. Now this is optional, but I like to use it and it helps out a lot, especially when you're dealing in those small spaces and those tiny ribbon cables. First thing we're gonna do is take off this black trim and we're gonna use our prying tool for that. So we're just gonna go in here and take that off. One, two, and that's going to expose this screw here and this screw here. Next, we're going to use our prying tool again to remove this trigger and this trigger, and that's going to expose two more screws. Then go under and push up. Same on this one. And we have a screw here and a screw here. There's these two hooks here. We're just going to lift it and then we could peel the controller apart. Here we have the battery, so if we wanted to take the battery, we would just carefully unplug it and plug in the new battery. Next, we have a screw right here that we're going to take off. So now we have this ribbon cable with a mic that's connected here that we want to remove. Now we can take this back case and put it aside. And now we have our motherboard. We have these two wires that are soldered to the board that are connected to the triggers and the motors. So we're not going to touch that. We're going to release these ribbon cables here and then we could take this motherboard and flip it right over. So we're just going to take out this one and this one. and this one on top. And don't forget this tiny one here. Now that all the ribbon cables are off from the main board, we could now take this motherboard and flip it right over. So now we could remove our joystick pads. And if you want to access the analog module, it's right here. And this is also a way to fix the stick drift. If there's some issues, uh, you could clean it inside. But now let's take off the sh inner shell. And by doing that, we need to unscrew this one and this one. And if you're dealing with a first generation controller, you would have an extra screw here and here, and you would have this bracket. On the first gen, as we can see on the second gen, that part is not there. So we're just going to go ahead with these screws here on the side. Now that we got these two screws removed, we could remove the inter housing. And here we have our front face plate. So if we wanted to change the buttons, we would just simply take, peel this off. We would take off each button. And we would either install new ones or we would clean these out if these were sticky or they had some kind of residue. Over time, these can get dirty. Or if you want to change a faceplate, you would simply take these buttons and everything in here, you would put it on here and this will be your new faceplate. And to remove the trigger, we simply turn around we have two screws here, which we're going to unscrew. So this is the trigger and it's pretty easy to take apart 
or replace the trigger if you need to. We're just going to go one, two, three. And we're going to turn it around. And there's one more screw hiding here. And this is how the mechanism works. You have these rings that go here and they have and they show resistance. So once we remove that, if we want to take the trigger off, we take this pin and we're just going to pull it out. And we'll change our triggers if we need to. And this also comes off this whole mechanism. So that's basically the teardown of the controller. Here you have everything laid out. If you want to clean the button or put them in the new controller, you can do that. You could swamp up these joysticks if they're bad. You could fix your trigger or exchange it if it's bad. If your motor is not working, you could put a new one and you would need a soldering iron to solder that in. You have your conductive strip here. If your buttons or D-pads is not working, you could clean or exchange this. And now for the fun part, we're going to put this all back together. Starting with the trigger. So to put the trigger back in, we want to align it with this spring. Otherwise, we won't have any friction. And we're just going to go in. Put that in. See, it pushes on that spring. Once it starts pushing on it, that means you're inside. And we'll go on this side. Put in that pin inside. Once that is aligned, we want to take our little case here. And that's all folks thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video and that's how you take apart a ps5 controller and put it back together make sure you guys check out my other videos on my channel on different type of modifications i do with the controller and if you haven't yet please subscribe and i'll see you next time